Rod's been doing some changes to the beat in his truck, so I'll let him explain what's going on. Okay, this is my subwoofer box that I designed because they didn't make one for this truck for a 12. So I made one that's kind of like a console that's been beat up now, but it hits good and it's cut to just barely fit. And I even took account for using my cup holder that it'll fit up under there. So now I'm going to remove this box because my wife is going to pick up an aquarium in Georgia and we need the room. So I have to move this and my amplifiers were behind my back seat. They have to be moved to underneath the seat. And so cut for a minute and I'll get this done and show you. I have an Orion XTR Pro 12 inch subwoofer, dual voice coil, two ohm, wired down to one ohm. Uh, subwoofer box is 1.6 which after subwoofer displacement comes out to be about 1.5, which is perfect for the box. Is it ported or non-ported? It's a sealed box. It's not ported. Do you have any filler on the inside? No. Well, just a little bit, but it's not enough to make a difference. What kind of wood did you make it out of? It's made out of three-quarter inch MDF board. Okay. Any and special paint on it? Uh, no, most people don't paint boxes, they carpet boxes, because that hides all of your mistakes. So if you paint a box, you have to have all of your gaps pretty much perfect. Okay. Otherwise, it'll look really bad. Alright, did you give all the information about your amps? Uh, just running two amps, Rockford Fosgate, uh, Punch 500 monoblock, and an old Lanzar amp that I've had for about 15 years, but it's still going strong and it runs my highs. What gauge wiring did you use? Four gauge wire for the power and for the grounds, four gauge, and for everything else, um, 12, I think, 12 or 16. Okay, do you have any, uh door speakers? Yeah, I have, um, what are those? Are they after manufacture? Yeah, they're aftermarket speakers, Polk Audios. What and, size speaker? Uh, are they four that, or six uh, inch? Uh, I think they're actually five inch, because uh, I've had them in there since 2006, so I really uh, just know it's whatever the, the uh, truck called for. I just replaced the factory speakers with the same size, just better quality. Where can you find the information of how to uh, get the right size speakers? And I use Sonic Electronics, and you can enter your vehicle, and it'll tell you what goes in your vehicle. So that's sonicelectronics.com? Yeah, with an X instead of CS on the end of electronics. Okay. I'll try to put that in the description of the video. Is there any other details that you would like to bring out about your personal custom work that you do? And I'm running a Clarion um, 7 channel equalizer and a Pioneer 8500. CD player, Bluetooth. I Bluetooth my phone through everything, so I really don't carry CDs anymore. And that's it. I had a Zapco equalizer in there, which is a lot better, but it's a lot more money. You can get about seven Clarions for one Zapco. Is there anything else about your sound system? No, just the guy that installed it's really good at what he's doing. <laughs> That's about it. And that is Mr. Core himself. I have one fish question for you. Okay. Have you ever done a test on the effects of your beat and the effects of uh, what it does to the fish in the aquarium? No. 
because I'm in the truck when I'm playing it. So. So would you like to run a test to see the effects? <laughs> I don't, it's your fish. If they die, it's on you. <laughs> I want to see if it makes them more active or if it makes them run and hide. Well, we can test it on the goldfish outside. Yeah, they probably run and hide. But anyway, thanks, Hun, for your time. And, um, You're welcome. We'll be giving y'all updates of any changes that he does, especially as he adds his audio system into his 1987 Conquest. Conquest. And that is a Chevrolet, correct? Chrysler. Chrysler. See? <laughs> Stick to the fish. I will stick to the fish. Yeah. Thank you, hon. Okay. Bye-bye. Now, my amplifiers were back here. My amplifiers were back here behind the seat. So I took them, rewired everything to run through here. And this is where they'll sit now. These are the wires for my subwoofer, which I won't hook up till we get back from Georgia. And... Just got them to where everything fits under the seat now. And we're free to have her aquarium and her stand now. The things I have to do. What to Thank say. you. Here's an update on Rod's car. It hasn't been buffed out yet, but how many weeks has it been? Curing? It'll be four weeks this week. Four weeks this week. And the paint's cured now, so everything's ready to be buffed out. I started, uh, I installed a power wire for my stereo, but I have nothing else in there other than the radio. So, and uh, it was Phil's tent and alarm that did the uh, limo tent. tent. Yeah. And this Alabama weather that's making me sweat. So I'm going back inside because it's hot. All right, I'm going to do a uh, sweep around the car. really pretty. This color in the sun is even a deeper red, burgundy color. And there's the uh, fiberglass air dam that uh, Alja constructed. Of course, it's got some water and dust spots on it from rolling on the road. I don't know if he's gotten that rubber cleaner yet because when he went to the paint shop to get it they were all out of it so we're waiting for it to come back in but that's my husband's baby it's an 87 conquest we're on the way to go pick up Rod's Conquest that's been in the paint shop. It's been over a week. He'll have to give me the information. But this is the serious face. But wait till you see the next one. Okay, I have an Orion XTR Pro Series 12 inch subwoofer, dual two ohm voice coil. Hold still. Now he's already been on the roof this morning.